Joining us now for our latest edition of Holiday Crafts with the Q2 staff, we have Diane Parker and her family, Blade, Victoria, and Kai. Thank you all for being in this morning. We're really excited to see what you've got going on here. Uh, Diane, what is this activity and why does it work well for kids? Okay, so this activity is called Easy as Pie, and this is all about the crust, okay? All about the crust. We can really make four pies in about four minutes. Perfect. And who doesn't love to do that when you're a busy mom or a busy dad and busy you have- Or a busy Freddy. Or a busy Freddy, yes, we should introduce Freddy. This is yeah. Freddy, our elf. <laughs> he actually came all the way to the set today. I mean, it is And magical. he just appeared. Yeah, and he, we made these pies. We wanna show you what easy as pie actually looks like when, we're, when we have the final product. So check oh, this out. Oh, it's so nice. This is the uh, apple gingerbread lattice crust. We slaved away on this, but really it only took about four minutes to make that. Okay, cool. And then this is our cherry. Okay. The idea is that you're just gonna- It's so um, pretty. You're ha going to have amazing crust, decorative, and the kids can be so creative- <laughs> Victoria, is it good? With the cookie cutter. So kids and Blade, let's get started. So Alrighty. what you do is you take your pre-made pie crust. Yep. Okay. So we've got that rolled roll up here. That out. You, roll it, you roll it out. Augusta is gonna make one too. Okay. Yes, we're um, all we're all making one here. Up. Yes. Oh, this is nice. What apart. kind of what kind of rolled pie crust do you get? This I is so quick. One. I just oh, buy I them no from Albertsons, okay. from the store, whichever. No something no pre-made. That's so easy. Something pre-made. That is the idea here. We are not competing with the Monaco's and their <laughs> yes, homemade generational ravioli recipe. This is all about just having fun in the kitchen yes, with the kids. That is a lot. Okay. Okay. The next trick is you just you are lying. Get your can I am okay. running and you super say late. thank you, Duncan Hines, and you take your spatula. And you no. dump it in. We like to use about one and a half cans. You can okay. use up Over. to two cans. It's Wait, not gosh, going to down it doesn't settle not gonna too boil much. over or anything like okay. that in the oven. Cool. You want to so, kind of oh, get the this. crust on the edges too. Okay. I need mine. That's a good tip, Kai. Yeah. You can use that spatula. There you go. So that the plastic doesn't burn. Now, I'm going to tell you another I little hint it. here there Okay. That my grandma taught me when we were making, you know, actual homemade, homemade pies, this? is that okay. you can use a little bit of vanilla or almond extract. Uh, I'm going to use almond extract here okay. in oh, my nice. cherry pie. There we go. Just dump a little bit in. Apple is my favorite, and nobody can say that it's not good. Fair enough. Fair enough. Apple is your favorite. And what is your favorite, Victoria? What's your favorite kind of pie? She, she did recently Cherry. try the berry medley. Cherry? Cherry. Okay. <laughs> and she's doing berry medley right now. And Can Augusta, I like um, and what I did know, you go for? Is this cherry or is this a strawberry? Strawberry. That's okay. strawberry. Yeah, fantastic. Always we love a strawberry just pie. made her. Cool. Okay, Do so it. you just put a little bit of butter yeah. in your pie and a little bit of that vanilla or almond extract. Okay. That's what makes it taste completely just homemade. I know it does. Just a little bit. Right, I'm going to give you a little bit of that. All right, there, there you go. You. Let's turn around. Whew. Okay, now once you get that step done, you're yes, gonna go ahead me. and take your top crust. You just unroll it. Oh. And you can take your cookie cutters, get a variety for the kids so they can have fun. We have gingerbread men and women. We have little fox. Oh, sure. Kai, what are you gonna make with yours? Oh. You, you, he has an idea about the fox. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to, um, I wanted to, like, you kind of use the fox and then kind of make like a mouth a on it. Bear. And then I guess, I guess kind of like make, then I'd take the gingerbread man, rip its head off. Oh. And put it in the fox's mouth. So oh, he was thinking. Creative. Yeah, I love that. Uh, fox would eat the gingerbread yeah. man. Yeah. And, and then, then might maybe make some like little circles for the crumbs of the gingerbread man's head. Oh. Right. So you can get as creative as you want. Yeah. Your kids can go whatever they route, whatever route they want to go. Can I okay, look I'm gonna do some hearts. <laughs> that is Not quite as one of the favorite parts about baking Kai is over that there. you can <laughs> lick the side. Right? That's enough. <laughs> yeah. There you oh, go. these are great. Okay, this is I'm so cute. The and then you just kind of like layer on the different shapes. Yep, you and you can layer on the shapes. I'm gonna go for a full this. out gingerbread cherry pie here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, Love this. It's a little harder. Okay. okay, so while we finish laying out our pies, we're gonna take a quick break and after this, these will be finished and we're going to taste these beautiful pies. Diane and everybody, thank you so much. Hold we'll on. be right back. 